In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to drum with polyrhythms. Polyrhythm is when you start and finish a number at the same time. And the most easy example of that is a three over two polyrhythm. I'm going to play threes with this hand and twos with this hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And you can do that with any combination of numbers. Obviously, the higher the number gets, the more complicated the rhythm gets. Where polyrhythms are particularly useful, though, is in helping you establish a timing change or in helping you establish a rhythm within a groove. And in this lesson, I'm going to walk you through three polyrhythms, the three most common ones that you might encounter, and show you a couple of different ways to use them within your grooves and ideas. <laughs> The first polyrhythm is the 3 over 2 polyrhythm, the easy one. And did you spot it within that groove that I just played? If not, let me point it out. The ride and the kick. The relationship between those two things gives you that 3 over 4 poly. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 on the ride and 1, 2, 1, 2 down on the kick. Now I'm not playing the groove exactly like that, I'm not hammering every 8th note like a maniac. I'm playing with a bit more dynamics, but still that three over two polyrhythm is the foundation for that groove and you can use it in the exact same way. You can use it to lay down a foundation onto which to build the rest of your pattern and a bunch of other Tesseract grooves use the same rule. The relationship between the pedal hat and the right hand in the song Luminary. <laughs> In case it's not obvious there, that 3 over 2 polyrhythm is sat between the pedal hat and the right hand. So if I'm keeping that right hand china constantly playing on those quarter notes, rather than just bouncing around the kit, which is like I'm actually doing, that 3 over 2 polyrhythm is established between those two things. In the song Resist from Altered State, it's also present there. it there it's pretty obvious one two three down on the kick and one two up on the cymbal now you may notice I'm not using a three or a two specifically to establish the kind of the count the quarter note count the thing that you're gonna nod your head to but what I am establishing is kind of an underlying rhythm that I can build everything else on top of that's a couple of examples of the three over two polyrhythm which is the easy one what about the 3 over 4 polyrhythm? That one may have sounded a little bit tricky, so let's break it down a little bit more. Let's play on our hands first, because that's typically going to be the easiest place to put it. Doesn't matter what instruments you play it on, I'm going to do a snare in the floor tom. That's what we want to get to. And you can start by just trying to count it out, but an easier way is like trying to hear, trying to feel the rhythm, right? And one way that you can do that is by putting a song to it almost, where the rhythm of it presents this song. And for this polyrhythm in particular, it's ba ba da 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 ba da ba 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 da ba da ba And the cool thing about this polyrhythm as well is that we can just overlay it onto a grid and they can be 16th notes. And if we do that, we end up with this. We're gonna play with both hands on the one, one, two, three, four. We're going to play with the right. One, two, three, four, five. Left's going to come down on the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go back to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to play on the one. 
the four, the five, the seven, the nine, and the ten of a twelve count. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's one way that you can figure out the timing of these things. And to establish what that grid is, you just use the two numbers of that polyrhythm. Okay, so the three and the four, we're going to multiply them. We're going to get 12. Three times four gives you 12. And each of those 12s is going to be a note onto which you're going to land either your right or left hand. And you can use either of the counts to figure out where those numbers are going to be. So one plus four gets you to five, plus another four gets you to nine, so that we know we're going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the other way, threes, we're going to have start out with one, add three to four, add another three to seven, add another three, gets us to ten. So one, four, seven, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you just have to learn how to put those two things together. And with that polyrhythm in particular, it's not too difficult to do that. And the goal really is to get it past the point of counting. You don't want to be counting any of these things. You just need to become a feel, something that you're used to playing that you don't have to think about. groove the three over four poly is sat between those two things the kick drum and the right hand up on the stack fours are down on the kicks threes are up on that stack one two three one two three and again down there one two three four and we do that in a load of test rack songs Again, hiding in plain sight. Three over four polyrhythm. The interesting thing there is if you also add the pedal hat as eighth notes, you're back at a three over two polyrhythm, so you've got a three over two and a three over four going at the same time, which is absolute craziness. But really, it just helps you lock in to what you're playing. Again, in that groove, we're working with that three over four polyrhythm between the right hand and the kick drum. Right there, the fours are down there on the kick and the threes are up on the hand. So that three over four polyrhythm is particularly useful for laying down a foundation for grooves again. And then you can fill out the space in between with ghost notes. You can play, you know, two kicks for some of the uh, for some of the kick drum accents. So it's not just that straight polyrhythm all the way through. But the good thing about that three over four is it establishes a really good like driving force for a groove. And it's not too tricky to learn. Now, for those of you that want a bit of a mind bender, let's talk about the five over four polyrhythm. Okay, so counting a five and a four at the same time isn't obvious at first. That might sound all wonky and weird, but you can apply the exact same mathematics to it as the other polyrhythms where you can multiply the numbers, you get that grid, and you can drop everything onto that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. A little bit more tricky especially to count when you get up into the teens, it gets a little bit complicated, but still you can use that method to work out the precision of where to place the notes within that polyrhythm. Or if you're anything like me, you can listen to that kind of rhythm on repeat 
and the pattern will start to become obvious and it gives you almost a song it gives you something to play along in your head to remember it for me that polyrhythm is ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba da ba one two three four five one two three four ba ba da ba da ba da ba as the other polyrhythms have been groove based, I'm going to show you how you can use this polyrhythm to help you with a fill. Now if we establish a quarter note count on our pedal hat, and we're going to keep 16th notes, a 16th note count, nice and easy, but what we're going to do is accent every 5th 16th note, and how you achieve that pattern is up to you. You can play right, left, 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 it doesn't really matter how you do it. I'm going to play right, left, right, left, left. So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to get used to playing that to that quarter note over there. So, 16th notes here, quarter notes there, play this. If that isn't easy for you to do immediately, slow it down. That's the number one rule. Slow these things down to a point where everything lands exactly where it needs to land and then you can build it back up. Start it down there or even slower or just play it along to a metronome. Make sure you understand how those fives and those fours relate to one another. Now if you strip back absolutely everything other than the left foot and the accent from that pattern that you're playing with your hands, you're left with the 5 over 4 polyrhythm. Okay, and that type of thing can very easily turn into a drum fill. I'm going to play a simple groove to demonstrate this and all of the fills that I'm going to play in between are just going to be using that 5 over 4 polyrhythm pattern. All of that is fives and fours. Your five over four polyrhythm. I'm playing around with a five stroke roll and I'm keeping a quarter note pulse, which is a thing that I want the audience to be able to latch onto. With that concept, you can get as crazy as you like. You can take any two numbers, one of them to represent the pulse that the audience is gonna hear and one of them to represent that number that's gonna establish the ostinato for your polyrhythm. Where do I use the five over four polyrhythm specifically within a tesseract groove? Let me show you. And that's one of the wonderful things that you can do with the 5 over 4 poly, is that you can also establish a groove. There's my 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, against, over here, the quarter note, which is the 4. And then if you isolate just the bell of the ride over there, in that groove, and put it back here with the pedal hat, Well, 
We're back with the 5 over 4 poly. It's that easy. It's not that easy, actually, that one. That one's a little bit tricky, but the rule still applies. And I suppose the thing to take away from this is not to get too bogged down with trying to force these things into your playing, because if you notice, I had to strip everything back to be able to point out where the polyrhythm is. So it's not the most important thing, but it's something that can help you establish a groove. It can help you compose something. If you start with that at the beginning and then build things on top of it, it can help make it a little bit more interesting and give you a starting point. If you enjoyed this lesson and you want to learn a bit more, head over to my website, jpostones-drumlessons.com, where you'll find loads more content like this, loads more lessons, and I'd love to hear what other lessons you'd like to see me cover on here. So leave me a comment down below, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.